Hello, this is Breuer, and welcome back to another episode of our Let's Play for Football Manager 2021. As we continue our Kidderminster Kids series with, well, Kidderminster in the Vanarama National North. Uh, and I have a question. Are our true colors starting to show through, or do we just have a couple slump games? Let's find out today. Let's get into the episode. All right, here we are. Here is our schedule. Last game you guys saw was our devastating loss against Gloucester. I say devastating because they were down a man and they beat us in the 94th minute. Ah, uh, so painful. Uh, we then went on to beat uh, Burke's Cow in the FA Cup. Four to nothing. Felt pretty good. Had a pair of goals from Pollock, a goal from Garcia, and a goal from White. We then went and drew against FC Halifax with an early goal from Austin. They got a goal a minute later and then uh, nothing else the entire rest of the game. And that probably led us into the next game, as you can guys can see, a 5 nothing stomping by Brackley. We had more possession, more shots, uh, less shots on target. To, I'll give them that. And our XG was very, very close to theirs, yet they beat us 5 nothing. Their goalkeeper was, apparently he's a, uh, I'm guessing he has to be like the best goalkeeper in the world because he was stopping literally everything that came his way. Unexplainable, but it is what it is. Um, it's crazy that we went 5 nothing and Bakari had a 7.5. How is that possible? Uh, so that was atrocious. And like I said, is that is that us? Is that truly us? Or did we just have a, just a slip-up of a game? Now, granted, Mentis has not been back yet by this time. So I don't know. What does that mean? Uh, we then went up against Tamworth in the FA Cup third qualifying round. They're, they're in a league just below us. Uh, and we lost this game four to three. Uh, we had a goal from Austin, a goal from Billum, and a goal from White, a late goal from White that even got us close to the four three. If we hadn't had this 92nd minute goal from them, I thought, you know, that would have been awesome because we would have been drawing back up with them. But obviously they went ahead. We barely could keep a hold. I do think we were starting to turn it around a little bit because as you can see, all of our goals came in the second half. Um, so they went up three to nothing and then we scored three goals in the second half. We just couldn't hold off that one goal they did score. So I thought we were starting to turn around again. If we played another 15 minutes, I think we could have beaten them or at least drawn them. Uh, Mentis did play this game. He was on a 7.0, but he wasn't fully fit. We actually had to sub him out, I think, at the 60th minute mark. Um, so we didn't get to get him to play the whole game, unfortunately. Uh, we then went up against York, 2-1 to one against York with a goal from Pollock and a goal from Bakari. Um, not too bad of a game overall. In fact, I think you could see, though, that Mentis did not play in this game either. So again... Still not fully fit by the time we play York. Uh, we then went up against Spennymore. Uh, we went up for uh, by a goal from a for the, with a goal from Mulvaney. They went up, drew us, and then it was just nothing for a while. Thankfully, in the 64 minute, we got the goal from Garcia, and then late, 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 we got a goal from Jaden White, which didn't really matter, but it does help with goal differential if that comes into play at some point. So far in the competition, uh, we are only two points behind Gloucester, but they do currently have a game in hand. There are five points ahead of us on goal differential. So we are still in second place by goal differential. Uh, second place against the team that we're going to be playing today, uh, Kettering here. Um, I mean, we're hanging in there. It's just, I mean, how do you lose 5 nothing? I mean, it's just, I don't know. Brackley is 10th. I mean, they're not that much better than us, I don't think. I'm just going to chalk it up to a bad game, a bad two games maybe, uh, and we'll see how we play today. Uh, here's the team we're bringing today. We've got, oh, I'm sorry, before I jump into that, let's go check out. I did bring in one player, Frankie McGuire here. He's a current two and a half star player, uh, midfielder. They can go potentially as high as five star. Like I said, I'm trying to hold off and only pick up players that are at least, you know, two and a half star, or maybe three star. Um, uh, so he seemed like a good fit for that and brought him in. Plus, we're having a little bit of depth issues with midfield anyway, with some injuries and other things. So bringing him filled like a pretty good deal. Uh, back to the tactic. We got Edge of Harry playing, obviously, our goalkeeping role. Sharaha on the left, Stavro and Penny in the middle, and Gittery on the right-hand side. Maxwell plays on the left uh, as deep-line playmaker. Austin on the right. Garcia inside forward. Uh, White as the attacking midfielder, and Mulvaney as the inverted winger. With Mentis finally back, feeling fit up front. Uh, Mentis only has four goals this season. <laughs> I mean, he's been out a lot. So I'm hoping if he comes back and he's in form that we're going to start start getting a little bit more comfortable with our position overall. We'll see how he plays today. Uh, 
Let's go with our first game against Leamington, who is currently, I think, 17th in the league. We'll check out here in a second. We'll see the table here in a minute. Carry on where you guys left off. They are... Yep, 17th. I was right. All right, throw in here from Leamington. Gets it inside. Come on, guys. Don't, don't give up an early score here. Austin was able to take that one away. Back over to Gittery. Gittery pushing the ball up. Gets it up to nobody. And here comes Leamington again, although it looks like Perry Manny's going to be able to pick up that one. Gittery with a big, deep kick. Mintis is going to be able to run it. To oh. Oh. I mean, it was just too high. Too high of a bounce. He couldn't get it back under control. It is what it is. Come on, guys. I will also say one thing. We have been getting a ton of offsides, call offsides called against us. It it's been pretty bad overall. Garcia with the ball. Gets it over to White. Is there? Like I said, we're getting offsides called on us all the time. I... I <laughs> White was not the one offsides there, which is funny. But it is what it is. I, I mean, I don't know what else we can do. What else can we do if we're just going to be offsides all the time? Maybe, maybe our, our top line is pushed up too much. I don't know. But on a play like that, I mean, that's not that's not your attacking line, right? Um, come on, guys. All right, we got a throw, throw in from Penny, I should say. Oh, it's like, did that go in? It almost didn't look like it went in. It almost looked like it went behind the goal. White with a the score. There we go. Our our leading goal scorer right now, White, I believe. I think that's a six, right? That I think it said it just there, and I was not paying attention. Yeah, that way that went in. It, honestly, it kind of looked like it went behind it, to be honest. But we'll take it. Goal for White. All right, throw in from Penny again. Gets it in. White is there again. What's he going to do this time? He's going to get it taken away from... Oh, no, he's going to get a penalty call against him. Mentis will take the penalty, which is good. I want him to pick up a goal here. Um, and really try to find his form and find where the goal is. You know, just try to get back into the swing of things. There, that's what we needed. That's what we needed. We need Mentis to get back into this. Uh, and, man, he cannot get injured again. This guy needs to start playing lights out to the rest of the season for us to have a chance, I think. We need to see the Mentis from last season. Uh, hopefully better, because he should be a better player. But the Mentis from last season, I don't think we'd be in the position we're in right now. All right, we played well. Room for improvement. I agree. Come on, guys. This is the 17th ranked team. We should be just... We should be up. We should be winning this four to nothing by the time the game's over. So let's get a couple more goals here. Or let's. Hey, I got an idea. Let's not give up a goal here. Oh, I thought we we're gonna get that one takeaway. Nope. Oh, there's a takeaway. Stavro push it up to Mentes. Mentes back to Garcia. Garcia is gonna get it back over to Mentes. Maybe. Nope. Not quite getting it to him. Bad pass. Shraha with the ball gets tripped up. It is going to be look probably a red card. Yep. Second yellow for Taylor Reagan here. So we they are down to man. We. Definitely should not be losing this today, although we've, we've lost before when the other team's down a man. All right, let's get our first sub out of here. Um, looks like Gittery is not playing well. We're going to bring Tavares in here. Actually, I don't know that he's played for us this season, has he? I don't remember. Maybe he's come on as a sub before. I, I actually don't remember. All right, well, good catch by our goalkeeper there. Come on, guys. Kicking it deep up. It is, is going to run past the defense. He's going to run into this. Oh, see, last season, he would have scored that. He was scoring goals like that, like like the other, like the goalkeeper wasn't even there. I, I don't, maybe it's the injuries, but he just is not himself right now. All right, corner kick coming from Tavares. Stavro is there, not able to get anything on that one. It looks like their player is going to run that one down. He is. Maxwell with the ball, take away. Austin now over to White. White kicking it up to Mentis. Mentis does can't. It's not a good angle there. So he's gonna have to get inside somewhere. Maxwell back to Shraha. Back to Wack Maxwell. Ah, Mulvaney. Third goal of the season for Mulvaney. I will say this: we have been spreading the goals around quite a bit. Uh, we don't have any like star star player that's just getting lots of goals right now. Uh, but a lot of our players are getting you know three, four, five goals here and there. So uh, we're, we're spreading them around a decent amount. Um, which again, there's the third goal from Mulvaney right there. I mean, this 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 is starting to feel a little bit more like the team that we saw at the beginning of the season. So maybe, maybe it was just a, a little bit of slump. Who knows? 
Uh, who do we have on the bench that could come on? We got an attack midfielder on the left that could come on. So let's grab Garcia over and Philem can come in for uh, White. Come on, guys. Let's keep it up. Let's keep the goose egg there. That's really what I want to start seeing. I want to start seeing a little better defense from you guys. Uh, do anybody come from Max? We'll bring McGuire on. See what he can do. Yeah, that's probably all right. 10 minutes left in the game. Let's see what uh, our new signee can do. I'm not expecting really much, but give him a little bit of game time here. All right, there we go. Three to nothing in our first game, but the next one is the important one. So we'll see how we can keep it up in game number two against uh, Kettering here. Uh, we are currently drawn on points with Gloucester, but they're ahead of us on goal differential, but they also still have that game in hand. Yeah, let's go play our game against Kettering. That, that, will, that will definitely help us at least keep within pace of uh, Gloucester if we can get a win there. McGuire makes professional debut. All right, we'll be right back. All right, we're back for a game against Kettering here. They are favored in this match, which makes sense since it is uh, an away game for us. It is going to be home game for them. But here's the team we're bringing today. we got Bello on the left, Shraha, Stavro in the middle, Penny on the right-hand side, Maxwell and Phillips playing the midfield today, Garcia on the left, White in the middle, Austin on the right-hand side, and Mentis back up front. And again, we need Mentis to start doing what we saw Mentis do last season. Really, really, really just, just doing an excellent job uh, I mean, again, the injuries have just really slowed him down this season. Um, I mean, his development has basically stalled completely. So we'll see. We'll see what he can do. We got a throw in here coming in from Penny. Penny gets it into Maxwell. Maxwell's going to get it across to Austin's there. Gets it up. White is there. Is that going to be offsides? I, was say, I thought it looked like an offsides there. Again, we are just getting so many offsides called against us. I mean, just that's way offsides. Like, what is what are you doing, guys? Like, what are y'all doing? All right, we got a uh, free kick here from Phillips. Shraha's there. Oh, so close. I mean, so far we're controlling the game, but doesn't really matter much if there's still a big zero on our side. Maxwell gets it up to Garcia. Garcia is going to get it taken away from him. As usual. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, Bella chases that one down. Over to Phillips. Phillips back to Shiraha. Kicking it deep up. Trying to get to Mentis. Mentis is able to come up with that one. What a strike. I mean, it missed. But it hit the post. So it was that close. What a shot. Just a little to the right. And we would have been cheering on the goal of the season probably. Penny with the ball, throwing it in straight to the Kettering player. So good job there. I mean, did you forget that we're in the blue and they're in the red? I mean, what's going on there? Come on, guys. Oh, good check. Take away by Austin. Turn around. Come on, let's get this one up to Mentis. Mentis is there. Uh, nope, he's just going to try to do it all himself. Don't know that I would have done that, my friend. Don't know. I don't mind you doing it all yourself. At least get it on target. Like, seriously. If the goalkeeper saves it, he saves it. But at least get it on target. All right. Well, first half, we controlled other than the goal. Uh, the score, I should say. Um, Got to get something here, guys. We have shut them down. But we've seen games like this where we've shut the other team down. And then they get a late goal or two and win the game. I mean, it's it's happened so many times. Um, Garcia is not playing well right now. I'll bring Mulvaney on for him. Uh, okay. Uh, <laughs> Whale. White's not playing well today. We don't really have anybody to come on for him. Mentis is not playing well. I kind of want to just keep him out there, though. I'll be honest. Um, let's bring Gittery on for Bello. Give him a team talk. Okay, didn't do anything. Uh, 
or nothing. All right. Well, Austin's tired. Mentis playing terribly. We're going to bring Pollock on for Mentis. Just something different. I mean, I don't know. Mentis, oh, Pollock was nervous. Oh, come on, guys. How do we? <laughs> All right, corner kick coming in from Maxwell. Gets it in there. Stavros there, not able to get on that one. Phillips should be able to chase that one down, but I wonder if the highlight will continue. It is going to continue for the moment. Phillips gets it across to Austin. How do we miss that? How do you play that well? Almost 60% possession, 16 shots, five on target. So only five on target, to be fair. But a, but they were good shots. A 2.09 XG means we had some good shots. 12 corners. Not a single goal. How? how I mean, our defense was awesome. I'll give, give, the, give the boys some credit. But how? Our offense, Mentis is just not Mentis this season. Oh, well, what do you do? I mean, look, sorry, Edge of Harry. I mean, you did outstanding, but the team didn't. And that was our chance to get some to catch some ground up because Gloucester actually slipped up in their last game. They got a draw. And did they play today? Oh, they did win today. So they slipped up in their last game and got a draw. Had we won this game, we would have been, been what? Only one point behind them, right? Yeah, so had an opportunity to get, get gain some ground on Gloucester and couldn't get it done. I mean, drawing against a third-ranked team in the league as an away game, that's not bad, but when you look at stats, it's just like, it makes no sense. It makes no sense. Oh, well, is what it is. We'll keep on keeping on, I guess. Um, next game, you guys are going to see something down here, I guess. Nuneaton Burrow, maybe. Honestly, you're probably going to do the Nuneaton and Braintree just pair. Uh, just, just because there's not a lot of games in November anyway. I mean, we can show the FA Trophy, but who cares? Um, yeah, we'll come down here for probably Newton and Brainty or something like that. We'll figure it We'll figure it out. Probably Newton and Burrow and some one of the games on either side that we'll play. But uh, we're in there and we're still there. It's just, we can't keep slipping up and expecting Gloucester to slip up as much or more than we are. I mean, it's just, it's just not going to happen. So we've got to do the best we can. I mean, at least we're still very much in the playoffs. Eight points clear of getting dropping out of the playoffs. So we're in a decent spot in that regard. But I just I feel like we're playing well-ish. Just can't get the goals. And, and a lot of that comes back to Mentis right now. So we'll see. But I do appreciate you guys watching. May God bless you. And I hope you join me again next time. Thank you and goodbye.